Just a short little video update of my hydroponics because we are well into summer now and it is super hot. This thing is like growing like crazy and drinking lots of water. Apparently these plants are really thirsty. They're, uh, the transpiration going through the leaves and everything and the heat. And I just want to show you how it's doing and also let you know that I don't add the fertilizer every time I fill it up otherwise I'd go broke because I'm literally filling up this five I'm not sure how big how many gallons this garbage can is you'll see how huge it is I'm filling it up like every three not filling it up but filling it up to the drain I'll show you about every three days and I'll dump about three five gallon buckets of water in it so there's some water going through this and uh, here let's take a look all right, I never did prune it, so it is a little bit out of control. It's not too wacky, but I'm letting as many tomatoes get on it as I can. And I have found a few hornworms on it. I've got about five or six over the past week. And I may put up another video of how I find them at night because they blend in so well in the day. I find them at night with a black light and the kids really enjoy it so it's a fun thing I may put that video up but here's uh here's some berry crazy cherries it's not a whole lot of them right now because I've been picking them they're finally getting ripe and um, I'm not sure what those are here's some dr. witchy and this plant it's getting a nice size to it here's some stuff growing all down here Ooh, there's one I need to pick because the bug uh, bugs already got to that one oh well we get the next one let's see there's some nice size ones still look at that pretty no bugs got to it yet this is a red brandy wine that come out on the end let's see what else we got here Here's another nice one. Back out a little bit. Here's some nice ones up top. That's the red brandy wine. I've already picked a few big ones like this. It's going to be a nice, pretty one. If some kind of bird or something doesn't get it, hopefully they won't. See right here, I found a hornworm right here. I should have leave it covering it up. But there's another big old one. Look at that monster. And it's got a hole in it. Nice. Let's see what else we got here. Here's some black beauties. Nothing has got them yet. I've picked uh, a good half dozen of them in the past couple days. They they come in clusters like this, which is really cool. None of the other ones, none of the other heirlooms did like that. These have done really good and these are the ones I didn't get hardly any plants to to uh, germinate. Something else I'm discovering while filming is always look down at your feet because this is the second time I wound up standing in an ant bed. They're all over the place. It's been raining a bunch, and then once it quits raining, they just seem to come out. But here's a lot of nice tomatoes across here. I see some up in there and down in there. I'll have to keep an eye on from the bugs. There's some up in there. Come in here and check these out. Ugh, I want to show you these. I don't know what they are. This is the one, the plant I planted that I did not know what it was going to turn into. And they're just the nicest shape. But they don't look like they're changing color. In the package, they said there was a white brandy wine. This could be that. It's got the potato leaves and it's just not changing color. It's not gotten soft yet, so I'm not sure what it is. But these are beautiful. Let's come on around here and see that I found a caterpillar because you can see them droppings on them. And uh, you just kind of look up above those droppings. Found a hornworm right here just a few minutes ago. Here's a bunch more. Berries, crazy cherries. And here's a shot of down in there. 
There's a few tomatoes that I'll have to get. And uh, that's the extent of it. And I have to get over here because it looks like my sausage is on fire on the grill. 